Hi, this is Peter, and I'm here to tell you about our new V2 version of the hotbox. So we made some nice improvements that I'm going to tell you about. Afterwards, I'll give you a general overview for those of you who are seeing it for the first time. So one of the first things we'll notice on the top is there is our standard filament passage hole for the top mounted spool holders right here. Uh, but we also added at the request of many users who have direct drives, a hole towards the center front. So you can mount your spool holder sideways if you like and feed in the filament directly to your direct drivers. Another really nice improvement is all of our access holes have now been sewn around the seams, which just reinforces the fabric and makes the holes much more long lasting. Another really nifty improvement, this, we've added some elastic loops inside. Right here, these elastic loops. So you could mount an LED light bar. This is gonna be one of our newest product launches coming out soon, an accessory light bar for your hot box. You can see how that sits inside of there. The inside is all very well kept, thanks to the new sewing technique around the holes. Okay, when you get your Wham Bam hot box, the setup is super simple. You just take it out of the box and you open up the two sides. And you bring the top right over, put it resting on the table and just bring the zippers around. And that's it, you've just constructed your hot box. To put it on your machine, just lower it over your machine. If you have an upper filament holder, open one of these access ports to allow the filament holder, the spool holder to come through and you're good to go. So some of the features on the hot box, first of all, we have a huge front window which allows you amazing access for viewing, but also a very, very large access to get to your machine. So you could reach in with your hands on any side and access your machine at any time. It's really wonderful. The window stays up thanks to a double Velcro piece here. We have a thermometer measuring the inter internal temperature here. We have two different filament ports on the top, allowing you, if you're mounting an upward spool holder or even filament coming from a shelf or the wall, to come in in the center for a direct drive or on the left side for Creality type machines. I already spoke about this. This is your passage areas for your spool holder mount. And we also have a hole already made and ready for you should you want to hook up an exhaust fan or a HEPA cleaner uh, or any type of air filtration. On the sides, you'll notice every side comes with filament ports. We also include nine rubber plugs, so if you're not planning to use those ports for anything, go ahead and plug them up so they don't disturb or let air out. On every side you'll also find a cable passage area so you're free to route your cables out from the back, from the sides, from anywhere. On the rear you'll see the cable passage offset and we have five filament ports. This is especially helpful to those people who are using multiple filaments at one time or using a Prusa MMU, you could feed up to five filament passages right through the back directly into the hot box. And on the left side, we have similar to the right side, a single filament port and a cable passage area. Some of the wonderful features of the hot box are also the fact that if you have to have side access to your machine, you don't have to take this cover off. You could just unzip a single door swing it open and you have access to your machine from either side, right or left. I spoke about this when speaking about our new V2, but we also have these wonderful, let me tilt this around. We have these elastic loops on both sides of the front cover. And that is so that you can insert an LED light bar and light up your whole hot box and have really wonderful access.
that's an overview. There's quite a few videos online showing how to print ABS or other high temperature filaments with the hot box. It heats up really quickly. It keeps the heat very well. One of the nicest features also is the fact that you can fold it down to put it away. This means if you only occasionally print ABS or high temperature filaments, it's, you don't always have to leave your printer in the hot box. It's simple to lift off and put it right back on. I uh, take mine out a couple of times a month and use it and then put it away when I'm not using it. I hope that you enjoyed the hot box overview. And please leave your comments about future improvements and other machine fits you'd like us to make the hotbox for. Thank you.